everybody, this is Roxy, and I wanted to just do a quick card share and tutorial. Um, I think I just saw this on Pinterest, where, you know, it's obviously super easy. You just stamp and throw down some tape, washi tape, and you got yourself a card. So here are the ones I made. And I just went in my washi bins, and like these are all, not all of them, but this, 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 and that are the new Dollar Tree washies. And then I just added some other ones, for, you know, like solids and kind of more color ones from my stash. Here's some more. And those are some of the new washies. I think those are all, but this one is from Dollar Tree. That's Michael's. Some more. And the stamps sentiments are from Paper Smooches. That is this set. It's called Nuff Said. No. Yeah, I think it's called Nuff Said. So, and it's really, I use it a lot. It's, they're really fun stamps. Kind of for teenagers or hip chicks. Um, so that's that. And then I just use my Bohemian, or Recollections Bohemian paper. That big, you know, really, it's lighter weight paper, but it's perfect for envelopes. So I just made my own. That's a white one I didn't make. Just kind of so that they went with the front. So super easy. Um, as far as ink, I use several different blacks. Whatever I don't know, whatever I grab. But you want to use like a dye beat base waterproof ink, um, which Memento has one. Memories. Um, some are archival too. I think most are archival. Heidi Swap, Ranger. And then this is a fast drying pigment from Ber Versafine. I really like that one. It's, it just seems a little clearer. So I'm going to just try those two. <clears throat> so I'm making four and a half, no, four and a quarter by five and a half. Cards. So I'm going to get this out of the way, put those out of the way, and quick cut my paper. Um, so you want to cut on the 11 inch side, you want to go five and a half. I should have had more room here. And then when you fold it in half, it'll be four and a quarter. So you can get two cards out of an eight and a half by eleven paper. Oh, I should say, I know a lot of my viewers are seasoned scrapbookers and card makers, but I've had a lot of people ask me to demonstrate certain things because they're just starting out. So that's what I thought I would do and especially with washi we all are collecting washi but my goal is to use it as much as possible I even have a swap on your paper pantry um, craft site that called waste not washi and I'm just trying to how did that get dirty I'm trying to come up with different ways to use washi kind of match up the corners and you don't have to have a bone folder but I have one so I've used when I started I used butter knife to score the or to fold the cards but then the butter knife the feel of it on paper drove me crazy so I've had this bone fold folder from I think I bought it in 1987 when I was 
really getting into card making. These are from Avery L. I love this little stamp set because it came with um, flowers, leaves, and little dots, and you can really do a lot in an arrow. You can really do a lot with this. I've used it a lot for making my own little cluster of flowers. It's fun. Upside down. <laughs> that would have been good. I just eyeball. There's that. Isn't that pretty font? Love it. I'll do a couple of these. So then, I thought what I would do is just use all these tubes that I have not used yet so we've all got them and I think you can pretty much mix and match not that of course with these but most of them you can mix and match you know like any of these would go with all of those even these even these want to try to get it straight as you can and then try to keep the margins somewhat even I like overlapping some of them too you don't want it too even because it'll be really Unless you're anal. Come on. Well, that's not going to tear very well. There, see? No, I'm not. No, I'm not even. That's fine. I don't care. I mean, I care, but it's not the end of the world. Of course, you're going to have one that unravels the other way. Hear that way.
there you go. Fast and Furious. Fast and Fabulous. But I kind of use that as in colors. So like with this little grouping, I added these and I've got three colors. Three basic colors with my other one. Okay, so I've got a green, blue, and a pink. Um, if I didn't want to do pink, I could add a black. But I like, you know, it's kind of like when you do embellishment, embellishing, that's also a rule of three or odd number. But always keep in mind rule of threes. And with embellishing, it's, it's good to keep that rule because then you're not going overboard and you, and you remain, you know, you're, you keep your focal point. So that would be kind of cute with that to get that black in there. Or... Mm-hmm. This is be cute. Add the puppies and kitties. Or add some more hearts. So then you're tying in this black that's here and in the outlines. So that'd be a cute one too. So that's kind of just how I do it. I like I said, I, I pull out my favorite or whatever I wanna work around and then just add to it so there you go and again try to keep rule of threes and then that would also mean you kinda wanna keep odd number of washi and I hope I had an odd number when I did one two three four five yeah so you kinda wanna keep odd number of everything and it's a little more pleasing to the eye because we we like odd things, don't we? But it is, that's the rule of three is that kind of odd number works best with design. Unless you're anally symmetrical, then you want to do what you want to do. And that would be keep the peace with your brain and um, do even numbers. So anyways, that's my um, my hints and my cards. And thank you so much for watching. Look at how beautiful that. Oh, I love it. So gorgeous, that washi. So thanks for watching. I hope it helped. Bye. Go make some cards.